Hello, Sisfei here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a sand wave machine. Um, if you watched my snapshot video, you'll have seen this in action. So I'm just going to uh, run the thing here. So it's got a nice little clock. Let's just turn that on. And if you just watch carefully, whoop, up goes the sand. And comes the sand. And back up again, and so on. Let's turn that off. There we go. Um, so this uses the new uh, features of the... Uh, why is my brain going blank? Slime block, that's the one. Wasn't working for a moment there. And the fact that you can push entities up. This includes like players um, and items. But also sand, when it's falling, is an entity. So if you catch it at the right time, it will still be an entity and you can launch it up in the air. So that's basically how this principle works. So these launch it up and the force of that launching is enough to take it about here, which these come out and they land and then they work in reverse, these pull out and it just falls back onto there. So we're going to just build a single one. They're fairly easy to build. I don't know if you can see from there. But we'll just build one here, just within range, so I can actually see what I'm doing as well. So we'll get the bottom done first. So we need to get the sticky pistons in place. And that's our launch mechanism. A couple of repeaters. Now this one's set on four and that one's two. That's to give us enough delay and uh, the, the signal. So the here I say if this button was pressed, that turns off in a tick, that falls, and then that goes off in six, which is just enough time for this sand to be an entity and hit it and be launched. If you get that timing wrong, then it'll just sort of land on it and it won't go anywhere. So there, that on there. Now uh, we get ourselves another block just above here and put a button on it. As you can see, press the button, and that's the timing. Now, if we get a torch up here so that the piston is constantly out. There we go. And just put a block on there. Now, if we push the button, that goes, then that goes, like that. In sequence. You do have to use a stone button in this design. If you have a wooden button, it does tend to screw up because the button press is too long compared to the stone one. And then from here, we just need to take the signal up. So a bit of dust on the top here. So it's a multi-directional one or omnidirectional, whichever you want, which will cause this torch to turn off. And I just realized the sun is setting. I forgot to stop it in this world. That'll do. So that torch is off. So we're just building a torch tower. And every, every one of these is adding one redstone tick delay as it turns on and off. Another torch there. And a block there, which we put dust on. And then we power that dust just by putting a block on here. And then it's simply a case of that one up there. Another sticky piston, which has been powered by that block. And block on there. And that's it. And then you just take your sand, put your sand on there. Press the button. And off it goes. And um, because of the delay timings, well, it's, it will miss these on the way up. And then before it lands, that pops out. Occasionally, if you get lag, it will hit it and fall off. But that's just a lag thing. So we press that. And see, that's what I mean about lag thing. There are a couple of uh, redstone bugs at the moment. So that should have been in longer. Let's try that again. There you go. And up again. And then you just build one after the other. And it's simply a case of a repeater between these blocks running the way along. And it's as simple as that. So I'll just pause here if you want to actually see the entire thing. There we go. So that's a fun little device. You've got other uses other than just looking entertaining. But I hope you find that useful and um, if you do find other interesting uses for it, let me know. So as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye.
another thing is, as you can see with this one here, with all the various little blocks stuck on the side of it, if you were to push this previously, that column there would go up and then it would stay up and the bottom block would come down. Well, if you've got slime blocks that are actually all stuck to each other, 